Well, I do love shooting with 35mm film cameras, but I don't always want to carry a tripod when it gets dull or the conditions aren't perfect. So sometimes I like to take stabilised lenses. Now, stabilised lenses are relatively recent in terms of the history of photography, probably only the last sort of 30, 40 years. I have a couple for my Nikon 35mm outfit. Now, on a recent trip to the seaside, I took my Nikon F100 and an F80, along with two zoom lenses featuring vibration reduction. Now, these allowed me to shoot handheld in conditions which I normally wouldn't be able to. So let's have a quick look at the video and I'll talk you through it. You see, it feels about minus five today with the wind chill. It is the middle of winter. It is awful. I am not gonna be taking off my hugely thick gloves to take photographs. So I want flexibility and I wanna use a colored filter to get a bit more definition in the sky. So I need stabilization to give me the shutter speeds. Well, this is a 28 to 85 in Nikkor mounted on a Nikon F100. Gives me great stabilization and some weather sealing too. Because in conditions like this, I am not setting up on a tripod. So these patterns are really graphic here. I already got low down and managed to get a good angle on them. And as you can see, the, the black and white effect really works well for them. I think it's far better than colour. Now I worked around the area probably for about 15 minutes or so, sort of trudging up and down. And I did eventually manage to find some decent material in amongst all the, the sort of mess and the confusion. Now I'm shooting on aperture priority and autofocus. The conditions are so cold it's very hard to manually adjust the camera. So I'm going with the simple option here. And the F100 and the 24 to 85 are perfect for these conditions. If you look at these here, these are very, very graphic. These are very stark. They could be rocks, they could be water movements, it could be absolutely anything. It's absolutely ideal. And this is a personal favourite of mine. This is really beautiful. This could be anywhere in the world. It could be anything. And I do like the, the strong contrasts in there. Pine woods are fantastic. Not only are they very graphic and photogenic, but they keep you out the wind as well. Now I've got two vibration reduction lenses with me today. I've got the 24 to 85 on the camera and I have a 70 to 300 VR in my little pouch, like a little kangaroo. Now these two together give me all the focal lengths I could ever need for landscape photography. And they also give me about three or four stops extra hand holdability. So I can shoot without a tripod today. I have flexibility, even though it's quite dull. Now again, I was able to shoot these tree trunks and various bark patterns using about a 15th of a second because it was very dark. I just couldn't have done that without a tripod or a much faster film. Well, I've just taken a few with the long lens zoomed right in. Fairly slow shutter speeds, but uh, no problem with the stabilisation. That's giving me the extra three stops or so. And I think the, uh, the image is going to come out really strong, actually. Lovely side lighting here. Now again, this long lens has really managed to exclude extraneous detail. It's managed to, again, create somewhat of an abstract. It takes you a while to really get in and understand what the subject is, but it worked a treat. And I was shooting at about a 60th of a second there to get enough depth of field at about f16. Just impossible without the tripod or the VR lenses again. Well, I've thrown a couple in with the wide as well, shooting about 35 millimeters. It gives me a nice line across the sand and puts the sand dune with the grasses at the back of the frame, pushes it further back. And again, no problem, I can choose my aperture. F11, shutter speed's absolutely fine with this VR lens. Now this one is with the wider end of the short zoom and I absolutely love this one. This is a, a personal favorite again from the trip for me. I just think it really captures the, the mood, the wind, So eventually we'd had enough of the cold and the wind and we did head off to have some lunch. Now when we came back out again it was about an hour and a half to sunset and the light had improved dramatically. It was sharp, it was clean, it was warmer as well and uh, it really did pick out things. You can see it breaking through the, the clouds here. Just look at the drama in that. Now to make things easier I just took a, a Nikon F80 with just the 24 to 85 VR lens. I left the other lens back in the car and I took a tiny little bag. I wanted to work handheld exclusively for which this lens is ideally suited. 
Now, this is one of the first ones in the, in the scene. It was relatively easy. It was probably about a 125th of a second at f16. So not too much of a push for any lens particularly. But as the light levels drop here, it becomes more and more important that I can choose any aperture. And that's what I get by having the extra three stops of stabilization in there. This being a much more dramatic image than the ones earlier in the day. Now, I wandered around for probably about an hour just getting my eye in. There's some people going for a swim. Absolute madness. Just getting my eye in and just clicking away with a, a second roll of XP2 Super. The first roll was shot in the morning. And again, I had absolutely no uh, encumbrance. There's, there's nothing hindering me shooting uh, in this light. I could I could work as, as if I had a tripod almost. And I did spot some good light here and I got a bit, uh, yeah, a bit carried away, a bit giddy. And I had to get back to the scene very quickly. Uh, again, no time to set up the likes of a tripod. I had to click away as fast as I could because the sun was picking out a uh, part of a sandbank just behind this tide marker post. And I had to get there really quickly. If I hadn't made the, the run and, and snapped away and got it, I just would not have captured this image. Uh, there was a bit of flare uh, on the right hand side which I have cropped out hence it looks a bit grainier than normal but this uh, then was a case of me working around the scene of this tidal marker post and and basically trying to frame it against that dramatic skyline uh, get the light in the right position it's a, a spot on there absolutely perfect and I had to hold the camera up very high there so I wouldn't be able to do that with a uh, tripod it uh, just had to be held above my head practically so a bit more wandering around and uh, trying to get to the last last of the light in there. Now this was hard side lighting on the beach itself, very abstract. Again, it could be sandstone, it could be a wall, but it is sand patterns picked out. And again, it's a very typical sand pattern type thing here, but it was quite dark by now. You know, you're probably talking about, you know, sunset is just about five minutes away. And I was still able to shoot handheld. I never actually had any shots I couldn't use the camera with handheld. It was possible to shoot right down after sunset. I mean, I was working about f5.6 by now, but I was still getting pin sharp shots. I don't think there was a single shot on the roll which was soft or fuzzy in any way. So it was marvelous for me to be able to take a 35 millimeter outfit like this onto the beach and work so flexibly. Because as you can see, I was running around, I was uh, putting in my steps. I think I got about 10,000 steps just in the last hour herring about the VR lenses did exactly what I wanted them to do they were absolutely perfect for the job now normally I would possibly carry something like a 28 to 200 zoom and I would expect to you know, be compromised in terms of shutter speeds I would probably get away with it in most situations but not when you get to dusk not when it gets dark like that so it makes 35 millimeter film shooting as easy as digital so you know <laughs> another benefit to uh, shooting film with the most modern cameras and lenses so I do hope you enjoyed that brief journey to the seaside and the romp round the sand hills with me. Hopefully I'll see you again soon on the next video. Thanks for watching.